In this video, we're going to show you how to check the status of your logic inputs or digital inputs as they call it on an ATV320 drive using the actual keypad itself. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do here is from the main display, press enter, which is your dial. Scroll down to NON, this is your monitoring menu, enter. And then you want to go down to L. I A. Could be a couple of ways down here. I'm sorry, the first thing you want to do is go to ION. That's the menu where you can go to input output menu. And now you should be able to find LIA, which is right here. And if you also if you scroll down, you'll see LISI as well. So LIA, just to give you a um, a description about that, if you enter on that. It will show L3A or L1 through L6A, and if you enter on each, it will tell you what they're assigned to. Like for example, LIA is a forward direction command, um, L2A can be reverse. Um, so that shows you the, the assignments of what those logics are programmed as on LIA dash. But the next one down, LISI, actually shows whether those logic inputs are turned on or not. So if you enter on that, you see something like this. If the little dash marks on the bottom, that means they are not turned on at all. They're off state. Let's, let's go to now turn on, let's say DI1, to turn on the motor, as an example. You'll notice the very first bit goes high. That's LI1. Now if I turn off LI1 or DI1, it goes low again. Same thing with DI2, DI3, 4, 5, 6, and so on and so forth. So that's basically how you can tell whether your digital inputs are getting a signal or not. And that might be a, a good tool to know uh, if your run command is coming in, if you have a wiring problem, if it's a programming issue, whatever have you.